Well, hello there. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play, and I'm Rachel. So I hope you had a marvelous Christmas. I hope you had a lot of fun, ate a lot of food, and got what you wanted. Okay? Okay, so now we have the New Year's to look forward to. Don't you worry, I'll be to you soon to bring you a New Year's message, okay? All right, so... Um, this video may air before or after it, but just so you'll know, I will be talking to you before New Year's, all right? All right, so I want to show you how to make a sweet potato cobbler. Yes, sweet potato cobbler, okay? So let's get started, shall we? Okay, guys. So this is around eight pounds of sweet potatoes, okay, that I cut up. Uh, you can see they're not thin slices, but they are slices, okay? All right. So now we're going to just put them. I got two pans that I'm going to put them in. This is one. And this is another. And I'm putting them in two pans to speed up the cooking process. So I'm just going to put them in, in the pan, the first pan. And then I'm going to put these in the second pan. Okay. So now we have our two pans filled. Let's start putting on what we're going to put on it, okay? I have some lemon juice. If you don't have lemon juice, you can use squeeze out the lemon of a juice of the, the juice of a lemon. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna squirt some on there, here, there. Not much. I would say that's about maybe two or three tablespoons full. Same thing with the vanilla, vanilla extract. You're gonna just squirt that on. Same thing, two or three tablespoons full for flavor. And then we have cinnamon, okay? This is new, I have to open it up. Okay, and this, you're going to be very generous with this, this cinnamon. Just sprinkle it on. When I say generous, that means a lot. Okay, I'm going to call that about four tablespoons in each pan. Now we have some brown sugar. Now sugar is up to you, how sweet you want yours or don't want yours, okay? But what we do want to do is we want to make sure that this, uh, the sugar equals to like a thick syrup. So, okay, so I'm going to call that maybe two cups in that first pan of sugar. Now I gotta put it in this second pan. All right, so we're gonna call it two cups of sugar in each pan, in each pan. Okay, let me wash my hand. Now I have some uh, syrup. I have sugar free, but you can use any kind of syrup you use, okay? I use sugar free. I'm just gonna squirt some syrup on the top here. Because we 
we want to make syrup, right? We want like a thickness. Okay, so let me let you see that. See that so we're looking at so far? On both cans. All right, now. I have some unsalted butter that I'm going to cut up in slices over the top. Okay, so I'm just going to slice slices let it drop here and there you don't have to worry about if it touches every piece because it's gonna melt into the syrup and all become one okay that's about a half a stick of butter in the first pan Okay, and a half a stick in the second pan. I think I want to do a little more in the bigger pan. So I'm going to put a total of a stick and a half in the first big pan. And I got a half a stick, as you've seen, in the smaller pan, okay? Only because it's bigger, it holds more, so I need more flavor. Okay, there we go. Okay guys, I'm not going to put any water in the pan. It's going to go in just like this and I'm going to put it in the oven. I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil and I'm going to put it in the oven on 450 degrees uh, so that they can uh, cook pretty fast, okay? So I'll see you when they uh, have uh, cooked and got tender. My guess is about maybe 30 minutes. Okay, I'll see you in 30, thanks. Okay guys, I'm gonna come back to you a minute. I decided that I am gonna put some water in there be only because I don't want the sugar to caramelize on the bottom before the sweet potatoes releases its juice. So I'm gonna put a couple of drops of water in I wanted you to see that. I don't want you to miss nothing. See a couple of drops. And the same thing in the bigger pan. A couple of drops, okay? Okay. All right. So I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil. The foil is to speed up the heating, the cooking process. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the large pan and then we're gonna put it in the oven. Okay, I'll see you in 30 for real now. Okay guys, so our sweet potatoes are done from in the oven. I'm gonna um, let you see them and we're gonna now uh, toast the pie crust. So normally you would uh, make it all together but I learned a different way that I would like to show you so I'm basically gonna this is the pie crust Miss Smith pie crust but any pie crust will do you can even make your own there's two come in a package here so we're gonna be using a total of four pie shells okay with the crust in it four all right so I took one out the, out the paper already. This is what it looks like. I'm going to put this in the oven. The oven is still on 450. 
So I'm going to put this in the oven only for a few minutes, like less than three minutes, okay? And um, then we're going to take it out and we're going to uh, make the sweet potato cobbler, okay? Let me give you the word of the day while I'm here. The word of the day is, please, enjoy your family. Today, tomorrow, the next day, the week after that, the month after that, because you never know. And God put them in your life for a reason, for a season, or for a moment. And you want to be able to look back and say, you really enjoyed the moments with them. Enjoy your family. That's the word of the day. Okay, so I'm going to put the pie crust in for three minutes, and then I'm going to come right back to you and show you the last process. All right? Thank you. Okay, guys. Here's the sweet potatoes. I put it all into one container. They're done out the oven. Remember, we cooked them in the oven on 450 degrees with our ingredients. Now, here's the pie crust that I just took the pie crust right out the package that was already pre-made and put it in the oven on 450 and actually cooked the pie crust by itself. So I have four of these, okay? So now we're gonna make our cobbler. Okay, let me make sure you can see. Okay, it looks like you can. Okay, so now we're gonna put the sweet potatoes in the, this is the empty pan that we're gonna make our cobbler with. We're gonna put the sweet potatoes in the pan. So you're gonna do layers. So we're gonna have a layer on the bottom. show you the first layer this is the first layer okay now we're going to take our pie crust that we already pre-cooked in the oven right here and we're going to put it over the sweet potatoes just drop it over there let me let you see that that's what will look alike when we dropped it over there okay Okay, make sure this is down as far as it can go. Okay, now we're just gonna just sort of spread it around. You don't have to push hard on it. It'll break up on its own because it's pie crust. Okay, now we're gonna put another layer of sweet potatoes on the top of that. So you get the idea of what we're doing. Okay, and now we're going to drop another layer of pie crust. This one got a little burn on the edge. I'm going to take that off. Okay, I took my little burnt edge off right there, as you can see. Okay, now we're going to drop this in. And do the same thing, spread it around. Okay. Now, we're going to put another layer of sweet potatoes. Okay, so let me let you see that. So you can see the sweet potatoes and two layers of pie crust, cooked pie crusts in here already. Okay, 
All right, so now what I want to do is I want to put some of the the broth, okay? Some of the juice that we made. The syrup, as I called it. Put it right over everything. It's going to moisten that pie crust, and oh boy. Talk about good. I would like to sprinkle a little more cinnamon right over the top. Bringing that flavor up. Okay. Put some more juice on there. Okay, I have two more pie crusts left. This is the third one. I'm gonna drop that right on the top. And one more. If your edge gets brown like that, just break that off. No big deal. When you put two pans on the rack in the oven, sometimes it gets too close to the wall and it'll get a little darker. Okay, so now we have our pie crust on the top. Our last two pie crusts that we cooked. And we're going to just put this juice right on top of there. Give it a little... Uh, breaking it up just a little with the spoon. Okay. Now I just want to. We have everything in there now. So now I just want to break it up. I'm going to mix it up. You just want to put one or two sweet potatoes on the top for demonstration purposes and we're good. If I can get some out. There we go. Okay. Couple of more pieces. And there we have it. Let me see. I can't lift that because it's going to go all over the place. Let me see what I can do. I want to show you. Okay, let me do it this way. No, you can't see. Is that better? Sweet potato cobbler. How about that, huh? Let me see if I can get a thumbnail. Oh, no. Sorry, guys. I can't get it. There we go. Sweet potato cobbler. Yum, yum. Okay, so there you have it, guys. You can do the crust the way I did it, or you can put the crust on it raw and cook it with the potatoes. It's just if you are in a time restraint, it's going to take much longer to put the raw crust and the raw potatoes in the oven, but you can do it. It'll be about two hours, okay? Unless you want to do it my way and you cut your time down for about maybe an hour total, okay? 
talk to you soon love you bye